I definitely knew Red's name after that. I was impressed Red was able to keep her composure and talk you into the match. Usually in those situations, she would lose her temper and go into hothead mode. You're one to talk about keeping your composure after what you did that night. Before my match, I have something very important I need to do. I've seen Ribby out here dancing with the kids all night, but I think I've got some pretty sweet moves myself, so how about Ribby and I find out who's better with the dance-off? All right, I'll go first. Hit me with some music. <laughs> okay, Ribby, top that. Okay, wait, I was holding back. Let me get another turn. When the dance-off is on this list, I have. I'm not crying. This was fixed. I demand a fair rematch. Hey, no one wants to see any more of your terrible dance moves. What they want to see is me kicking your ass. I mean, what kind of stupid name is Trey anyway? I think a better name would be Crossword because you enter the ring vertically and you leave horizontally. <laughs> I mean, with a name like that, your parents must be the type of people who when you look into their eyes, you see the back of their heads. <laughs> you can say whatever you want about me, but don't talk about my parents. <laughs> What's the matter? You should be proud of them. Because I heard they created more tragedies than Shakespeare. <laughs> Did you come out here to dust off every one of your dated one-liners? Or do you want to have a match? Look, I'm just trying to entertain these people after your awful dancing. I mean, I've seen better moves in a blind chess match. <laughs> if you want to entertain them so bad, then how about we give them a match they weren't expecting? Well, if you keep boring everyone, pretty soon we're going to have an empty arena match. <laughs> I was thinking something more along the lines of no DQ. You know what, I'll take that and I'll do you one better. I know you've only been in Memphis for about a year, but I think everyone will agree that's a year too long. So how about we make this a no DQ, loser leave town match? Come on, Crossword, what do you say? It's fitting your last match in Memphis is going to be in a baseball stadium because you just made the biggest error of your life. Oh, come on. That was just as good, if not better, than one of his lame jokes. Oh, shut up, Ribby. After I send Lawler packing, I'm going to eat you for dinner. All right. Let's do this, crossword. 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 Crossword.
this is now a loser leaves town match. If Jerry Lawler ends up having to leave Memphis, the city would go into a deep depression, emotionally speaking. Economically speaking, we'd probably be all right. It's the battle of the pile driver versus whatever Trey's finisher is. Honestly, I'm sure it's nowhere near as good as the pile driver. I know I'm supposed to be impartial. But Jerry the King Lawler is a hometown hero. Trey, if you somehow send the King packing, you might want to consider hitting the road too, for your own safety. Which reminds me, Slider Stadium is a safe space and will not tolerate bullying or threats of any kind. Thank you. Off. That giant piece of meat has got some sweet and saucy moves. Trey might be younger and quicker, but the King has a significant edge when it comes to experience, and not to mention the support of the home crowd. Come on, King! Get him! Beat that butt! Thank you. 
Two are throwing heat right up in each other's kitchens, trying to avoid the grand slam.
Vance is trying to take out a legend like Lawler in his hometown. Look, I'm glad you won. I mean, you beat a legend, a WWE Hall of Famer, and that's huge. But you were out there playing with our careers just because you were too worried about a stupid dance-off. Which allowed Lawler to get in your head. I'm sorry I let King bait me into that match. Just, he was saying stuff about my parents and I lost my cool. You should get that. Believe me, I do. But that's what Lawler does. He's made an entire career out of it. He had no idea you are adopted. Good thing. I'm sure he would have had a field day with that. Let's just move on from this. Apology accepted, okay? What would have happened if I lost? Would you have stayed here in Memphis without me? No. We're a package deal. Wherever you go, I go. But I'm glad that didn't happen. I'm having too much fun here. I mean, I just beat Lita. <laughs> I know. Tonight was crazy. 
Do we have beat two Hall of Famers in one night on our list? If not, we should add it. Hey, good match, kid. I didn't know what to expect after you lost to a giant rib in a dance-off, but you really brought it when it mattered. Thanks. Sorry you have to leave Memphis now. I know you're a legend here, so that's got to be tough. Are you kidding? I'm not going anywhere. Do you know how many loser-leave-town matches I've lost in Memphis over the years? Well, not that many, actually. But still, that wasn't official. We never signed anything, did we? Uh, no, I, I guess not. Well, then there's your answer. Hey, you two have dinner plans? No, why? Well, you should stop by my restaurant. We have really good ribs. 